Hello, sports fans and baseball fans out there. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I'm here with the continuation of my Kansas City Royals playthrough. We have already gone through the 2023 season, and we are now in the 2024 season in the game. Uh, as you can see, you've got right, uh, right down here, you got our division. We are at the bottom of the division at 6 and 13, but we are only a game worse than the White Sox and we're only 5 out of first place since the uh, division leader is Detroit and they are 11 and 8, which is a fairly benign record for someone who's leading the division. So, um, we'll take a look at the uh, major league standings overall. Uh, let's look at them all here. Um, so you got us right there, six and thirteen, not doing very well, um, obviously. Uh, the Astros are fourteen and five. Seattle is eleven and seven, so they're leading the uh, they're the top two in the West. Over in the East, you got Baltimore at fourteen and five, and the Boston Red Sox in second at twelve and seven. The Mets are leading the NL East, and they are ten and ten. And then Atlanta is in a practical tie with them at 9-9. Nine and nine. And then in the NL Central, you've got St. Louis leading with 11-8 and eight record, but a half game behind them is the Cincinnati Reds. And San Diego is leading the, uh, is tied for the lead in the West with the Dodgers at 13-7. and seven. Today, we are taking on the Phillies. Now, the Phillies are in a, pretty much the same state that we are in. They're terrible, and they're at the bottom of their division. And with a record that's actually even worse than ours. So maybe that bodes well for us. We'll hope so, and we're going to go on to the game. Let's get on to the game. Uh, they are going to have um, Painter going uh, for them. Um, and we're going to have Lazardo on the mound. Lazardo 0 and 3 with a 720 earned run average. Um, and so, and a 207 whip. So he's not doing very well. We need him to, uh, you know, pitch more like the real Lazardo does. Uh, our lineup is, um, well, let's go over the Phillies lineup first. They're going to go uh, Trey Turner and, uh, or wait, is that, is that Trey Turner? It is Trey Turner in left field. I don't know why they're playing him in left. Then you got Freeman at short. Bryce Harper and right, Schwarber at first, Real Muto at catcher, Donovan at third, Sosa will be the second baseman, Garcia is the DH, and Sawinski is the center fielder. In real life, he is uh, on the Pirates, I believe, still. But, of course, this is out of the park baseball where teams can make trades and trade players and, you know, not necessarily. Uh, in line with real life. So our lineup will be Bobby Witt Jr., the third baseman, leading off. Michael Massey at uh, second base, and he'll bat second. Then you've got uh, Perez, the catcher. Vinny Pasquatino, the first baseman, batting in the cleanup spot. Fran Mil Reyes at DH. Oliveris will be the right fielder. Isbell's in center. Melendez in left. And Nicky Lopez is the shortstop. So with all of that out of the way, let's get on with the game. Um, so here we go. Um, pitch to the batter. And we are in Philadelphia for this. And I thought it would be nice to... Um, you know, we had led off with a an, an uh, American League game against the Astros, so I thought it would be nice to uh, play a um, for the next televised game to be a uh, National League team. And of course, we are in the mode where every team plays every team, so we're playing all the National League teams anyway. And there is a double after one out, I believe. Uh, yeah. One out, a one-out double for them, and now Bryce Harper is up. That is a really good-looking Bryce Harper right there. And Bryce Harper rips it down the line, and he's going to knock in a run 
from second, and he's going to go to second himself. So we've got back-to-back doubles allowed by Lazardo. His uh, struggles for the season continue here as we go to um, Kyle Schwarber, the batter. Not a very good uh, hitter for average, and he does pop up to first base. So there's two down, but we're losing one nothing immediately here. Real Muto, the catcher. Now, he's a good hitting catcher. Uh, he's a good defensive catcher, too, and he makes an out. And so we're going to the bottom of the first down one nothing, And uh, leading off with Bobby Witt going up against Andrew Painter. And he deals, and there's going to be a base hit. Nice. Base hit for Bobby Witt. I'm going to maybe do the hit and run here with Michael Massey. Not in time, so we're going to do the hit and run again. Oh, they're really trying to get him. Ooh, and he fouls it off. And they, they, well, we stayed out of the double play with the hit and run at least. So we did move um, Wit down to second, and now Selvi is up. And Selvi, there's a stolen base. So Wit steals third base, and Selvi is up. And Selvi's going to hit, get a little base knock, and tie the game here for us right in the first inning. So we're show, we're flashing a little offense, little you know working it, working the system here. Vinny Pasquatino, the first baseman, and he is going to give the ball not much of a ride to center field. So there's two out, and um, Fran Mil Reyes is up, and Fran Mil Reyes. Now he does give the ball a ride, but it's still going to be a fly out to center. But we tied the game. That's the important thing. We tied the game, and Lazardo goes back out there to deal with Brendan Donovan, the third baseman for the Phillies. And that is going to be a fly out to right, one down quickly. And uh, Ed Edmundo Sosa, I've forgotten about him. I, I don't think he's in the majors anymore, is he? Anyway, he's out, and so Adolis Garcia. So Adolis Garcia, you know, is on, in real life, he's on the Rangers. But here he is on the Phillies. And Jack Sawinski, as I said, in real life, on the Pirates. And look at that bullet drive throw that gets the runner at second. And we're out of the inning, and we go to the bottom of the second um, with Edward Olivares up against the Painter Man. And he hits one right up the middle. This painter guy is not that great. He doesn't look like he's really on top of his game here. Um, and for the season, actually, he has a nine earned run average, so he isn't very good. Isbell is up. I really should be bunting him over, but I didn't. And, oh, it takes a great diving catch to get him. One down, runner still at first, and uh, MJ Melendez, who has been hot lately, and he walks. So we've got two guys on with only one away here. And um, Nicky Lopez, the shortstop, is up, and he's going to ground out. Hopefully not into a double play, but it is. So, um, yeah, we're back in the field, and it is 1-1 here in the top of the third. Sawinski up against Lazardo. He was up when the runner was thrown out at second for the Phillies in the uh, second inning. And Trey Turner is up. Trey Turner playing left field today. I have no idea why that is, but I'm not the Phillies manager. So, um, And then Tyler Freeman. Now, I don't know who Tyler Freeman is. I don't know if he's real or what, but or... If he is real, but he's in the minor leagues and in out of the park, they promoted him. No idea. But this is Harper, and Harper is going to hit the ball. He hits it hard again, but this time it is a fly out to right instead of a double down the right field line that he got the first time up. And up steps the main man, Bobby Witt. We're back at the top of the lineup. So, And he is going to get a base hit. Nice. Bobby Witt with the base hit. Uh, this time I'm going to let Massey just hit. 
I'm just going to let him hit because he's good. And they uh, get a pass ball. So, nice. Runner goes to second, and now I don't need to do any tricks anyway. We just have to let Massey get a base hit or ground it out to the uh, right side and move the runner over to third. So, Witt is now at third base with one down and Salvador Perez up. Let's see how they deal with him. They deal with him by allowing him to get a base hit, a little base knock that puts the run across the plate. And we're leading 2-1. to one. And Pasquatino is the batter. Pasquatino strikes out. So there's two down quickly here. Well, not really that quickly, but Fran Mil Reyes is the batter, and he strikes out. So we took the lead, though. And, uh, you know, can't take anything away from us for that. And Schwarber is going to be the leadoff hitter. Again, he isn't a very good hitter for average. He doesn't get on base a lot. But when he hits the ball, he gives it a ride. And that's going to be another strikeout. So Lazardo, all of a sudden, he's settled down a little bit here in the fourth. Of course, you can see the uh, his bar is getting chomped on. So we're definitely going to have to go to a relief pitcher pretty soon. Um... Edward Olivares, though, is batting against Painter here. Two strikes on him, though, and you know that. That's going to be the strikeout. Two or One down, and Kyle Isbell is the batter. And Kyle Isbell gives the ball a ride, and he is going to fly out to center field. And there is two down, this time quickly, and MJ Melendez, who walked last time, and he strikes out this time. We maintain our 2-1 to one lead going to the top of the fifth inning. Lazardo still out there. He's still got gas in the tank. And he strikes out the first batter. It shows exactly that he has gas in the tank still. And he's going to get a ground out to short. And yes, that is a ground out. There was no error on the play. And Sawinski, the batter for the Phillies. And he hits one in the gap. So, yeah, off the top of the wall, Sawinski with a double. The Phillies will have a man at second with two down. So hopefully Lasardo can retire Trey Turner, the left fielder deluxe, and he is going to ground out to shortstop. So we do get out of the inning. We go to the bottom of the fifth. I'm going to try to get another inning out of Lazardo, but right now we got Nicky Lopez up at the plate. And Painter not getting tired, but... Uh, he, uh, he doesn't, he's not tired. Well, he is kind of tiring, yeah. Bobby Witt is up. Bobby Witt strikes out, so we might have gotten what we're going to get. So we got to hope that Lazardo and our string of relief pitchers can hold the Phillies down to nothing. And that's going to be a fly to deep center for the third out of the inning. And Lazardo, yeah, I'm going to try to get him through this inning. You've got Tyler Freeman up. And Tyler Freeman is going to hit the ball to center, but he's out. Fly ball to center field, which brings up Bryce Harper. Lefty on lefty here, and they walk him. Not that that's the worst thing in the world, but uh, you got Schwarber up next. Schwarber strikes out. Again, he has to make contact, but if he does, it could be brutal. It wasn't there. And that is going to be just over the second baseman's head, and it's going to be a single that advances the runner two bases. So the Phillies have runners at the corners with two away and um, Donovan up. And that's going to be a base hit that ties the game for the Phillies. We do hold the runner at second. I'm hoping Lazardo can just get out of this inning. Just get out of this inning, my man. And he, well, he walks the bases loaded, so let's see what happens next. Adolis Garcia, not what you want to see, but that is a fly ball. So he got out of the inning, but he gave up a run, so we're, we're in a tie game at two apiece. I am going to warm somebody up in the bullpen, and that somebody is going to be Kendall Graveman. And he's going to warm up. And we're going to go back to the game with Perez as the batter. And he walks. Nice. So we got the leadoff man aboard. Um, they did bring in a, pin, uh, a new pitcher. It's Adam Adovino to pitch to Pasquatino. And there's two strikes, so he better make contact. He doesn't. He just looked at it, and he was out. And Fran Mil Reyes is the batter. 
and he's going to hit the ball up the middle. They go for the runner at first that hit the ball, or the guy at first they hit the ball. So that does advance a man to second. We've got two down with a man at second base and Edward Olivares up. And he is going to pop way up in the air. That it would be a home run in an ele- in an elevator or a, a phone booth. But so uh, we're gonna. I'm. You know what? I'm gonna let him. I'm gonna see if he can get the first batter at least, especially since it was lefty on lefty, and he does get the guy to fly out. And uh, let's try him against Turner and see what he does against Turner. I'm trying to get every little bit out of him I can, but that does not work. So we're going to bring in the reliever. We're going to go get Graveman now. So we will put Graveman in. Yep. And we're going back to the game action. Graveman dealing to Freeman. And he rips it down the right field line, and that might even knock in a run. And the Phillies might take the lead here, but we'll see. No, they don't. The runner does stop. So now the question is, do I bring the infield in? There is one out, and uh, Bryce Harper up. (sighs) Um, You know what? I'm going to walk Harper. I'm going to go intentional walk to Harper. And then we're going to deal with um, we're going to deal with Schwarber and hope that we can, he does his usual get out and he does he strikes out so yeah so the bases are loaded with two down and Real Muto is the catcher and he is going to ground out to first and we got out of that jam. So, Ottavino is still on the mound for them. We've got Kyle Isbell, the batter, here in the bottom of the seventh in a tie game at two. And uh, let's see if he can beat it out. No, no errors, nothing like that. It's an out. MJ Melendez is the batter. And MJ Melendez is going to hit the ball to center field. That's a second out. And up steps Nicky Lopez. So two bad teams dealing here, and Nicky Lopez splits the gap, and he's going to get a double. So we've got Lopez standing up at second. If we can get a base hit here by Bobby Witt Jr., we're in, well, no, he struck out. We can't get that is what's happening. So Graveman is still out there on the mound. He's going to deal to Donovan. We got him from the White Sox, obviously. Strike out there. And uh, Edmundo Sosa is up with one down here in the top of the eighth. And Adolis Garcia. And he's going to strike out. Nice. So I guess I'd better get somebody up in the bullpen. And we're going to go with Colby White. I don't even know Colby White. I have no idea how good he might actually even be. But we're going to go with it. And then we'll see what Graveman is for um, tiredness when we go out there. But Adam Adovino is starting his third inning of work here. Michael Massey will be the batter against him. And he's going to hit it on the ground to second and be out. Next batter is Selvi. Salvador Perez. Salvador Perez is going to hit a fly ball to right. Two down. And uh, Vinny Pasquatino up. Pasquatino with a little power, and he does take a walk is what happens with him. And Fran Mil Reyes is the batter. So I guess they have a new, maybe they have a new pitcher in. And Fran Mil Reyes is going to maybe knock in the run. Could that be the go-ahead run? No, it isn't. I'm going to solve that problem for you. It isn't. Um, so, Olivares is the batter. And he is struck out. So, we didn't get the run. I thought maybe that hit would have been good enough to do it. All right, so Graveman still has some... Uh, he's still got a little stamina out there, so we're going to let him 
pitch to the first guy. And is he safe or out? What happened there? He's safe. I'm going to let him pitch to the next guy. I should not have done that. So, really should not have done that. I'm going to go to the bullpen now, but it might be too late. We'll see. We're going to bring in Colby White. Colby White on the uh, season um, has a 506 earned run average. And he's got a 3-2 count here. And uh, they hit the ball deep, but it's a foul ball that is caught by the left fielder. So, there's one down. And um, Bryce Harper, the batter. And Bryce Harper strikes out, and now the often gotten out Schwarber is the batter. And he strikes out. So Colby White comes in and throws some gas and gets us in a good position here. We can win the game with a run if we can just get a run. But we're going against Andrew Bellotti, and Kyle Isbell will be the batter. And Isbell is going to be out on a great play by Bryce Harper. A great sliding catch by Bryce Harper. MJ Melendez. And MJ Melendez strikes out. So there's two down quickly here. And we're back to Nicky Lopez. He doubled. I think he doubled last time. And this time he is going to be out. So we're going to extra innings, and of course you know what that means. You're going to have a ghost runner on second, right? Yep, there you go. So Colby White has to deal with a ghost runner on second and Real Muto the batter. And that's going to be a fly ball, but it's an out. And the runner does not advance, thankfully. And that brings up Brendan Donovan. And Brendan Donovan hits a little dribbler out in front of first base, and he's going to be safe. So they got runners at the corners, one down. I am going to take a chance on a strikeout or a double play, and that does not happen. So there's two outs, and they got the uh, lead run across, and Adolis Garcia is the batter. And that's a strikeout. So we've got to have a run here. We're going to the bottom of the 10th. We need a run. We will get the ghost runner just like they did, though. And it's Nicky Lopez, who has a little bit of speed. Well, he's a 45. It's not that great. Um, but with Bobby Witt, you know, I don't even know if I want to sacrifice because I don't think that that's the... You know what I am? I am going to bunt. I'm going to bunt with Bobby Witt and see if he can get... Um, get the runner over to third. And we're going now against Taylor Rogers. All right. Now we're just going to we're going to swing away. And he walks. All right. So now you got Massey up. Let's see if Massey can get the bunt down. I really should let him Oh, he Don't tell me that's a double play. It is. It's a double play. We got a runner at second and two down, and Salvador Perez, the batter. And he's going to be out to shortstop. So a disastrous bunt by Massey results in us losing 3 2. We'll take a look at the box score. Um, there's what all the batters did. And Lazardo went six and a third. He allowed six hits and two runs, better than he's been pitching so far this season. Graveman went one and two-thirds, allowed three hits and no runs. And then Colby White allowed a run, but it wasn't earned because it was the ghost runner. And um, so, yeah, we, we end up losing that game. And that will be it for me, Sportsman Z. Bob Zolke, signing off.